football player has died from COVID complications. And Tyler Fairley's parents say doctors were frustrated with them because the teen was not vaccinated. Channel 2's Taisha Fernandez, live now in Douglas County. Taisha, you spoke to Tyler's family and hospital officials about the accusation. George, the family is still in shock. They just cannot believe that this strong teenager died after catching COVID. But now they're focused on the care he was getting at Douglas Wellstar Medical. They say it was unprofessional at times. That could have been a conversation for another time, but not during the time that my son was in distress. Tasha Nettles said watching her son, Tyler Fairley, suffer from COVID was unbearable. But when she and her husband rushed the 17-year-old to the Douglas Wellstar Medical Center twice, they said they could feel the doctor's frustration. As if the doctor didn't care because this was COVID and he didn't prevent himself, himself from having COVID because he wasn't vaccinated. When Tyler became unresponsive with the doctor, his parents said things got worse. And I believe the doctor um, became offended by that because his words were, you know, this is COVID. This is what we've been seeing for a year and a half. This is, it's just got to run its course. And I say, well, he's sick. I said, and I mean, he's not disrespectful, never have been, never got in trouble. I said, and this is strange for me, too. This is not my son, which is why we're here. Tyler was normally a bubbly football player, nicknamed the gentle giant by his coaches. His parents rushed him to Choa, Scottish Rite, where doctors immediately said he had been having seizures that entire day. He died Sunday. I'm not a medical professional. I do wish that um, I had gotten him vaccinated. Um, do I know that the vaccine would have helped from what he was going through? The mom says she's not sure because his cause of death was seizures. Now, Douglas Wellstar extended their condolences to the family through a statement they gave me. They said they're reviewing the care at their facility, but they also said sometimes things change with a patient when they're discharged. We're live in Douglas County. Taisha Fernandez, Channel 2 Action News. Taisha, delicate balance, but of course we all feel for that mother. Thank you. Good morning, my faithful loyal YouTube subscribers. Today is Wednesday, Wednesday, August the 4th, the year is 2021. I know that we are all, that we have all grown exhausted from the coronavirus. And we're sick of it, sick of talking about it, sick of hearing about it, sick of everything about it. I do get that. But that news article, news story you just saw, it's kind of touched me because here you have a 17-year-old kid who's entering into his senior year in high school uh, who caught COVID in July, July 26th of this year. Um, and he passed away this past Sunday, which would have been, what was Sunday? Sunday was the 1st, August 1st. So basically he was dealing with COVID maybe a week, a little more than a week or right out of maybe a week if he got it on 26th. His parents did not have him vaccinated. His parents were not vaccinated at the time he caught COVID. So they had decided, his parents made the fatal decision not to vaccinate their kids and also themselves. I don't know, particularly know why they made that decision. I guess they felt that they would take a chance with um, rolling the dice, so to speak, and Maybe they thought that maybe they wouldn't catch COVID or maybe they, they maybe they didn't understand it or maybe they didn't like the vaccines or maybe a variety of different reasons. Since the vaccines have been readily available for everyone in Georgia again since February, March and the month of April and May, they were begging people to come get these vaccines, especially children over the age of 12. Clearly this boy was young man was 17 years of age. He was 17 years of age. 6'4 and weighed 290 pounds. He was a big big kid. He was a kid. That was his mother's son. But I sure wish they had got that young man vaccinated. I really wished that whatever hesitancy she had, she had put that to the side and gave her son a chance at life. If I had children, there's no way I would have my children walk around here and not getting them vaccinated 
while we walk out in public, while we're doing things and going places we're around people. And I know, I know there's a pandemic. And in fact, we, we've all known about COVID-19 for a while now. And when those vaccines became available, and I knew this was going to happen, when that young woman took her son to that hospital, by this time he was so sick, the hospital was just like, they didn't care for a variety of reasons. One, he was black. Two, he didn't have the vaccine. They didn't care. So we have to understand when they see people like us of color and they find, and these doctors and nurses looking at us like you haven't followed the rules, you didn't get the vaccine, you didn't do nothing to try to save your own self's life, they really don't care. And just to say they all feel. It's unfortunate that this mother made a decision not to vaccinate her son. And I don't know if, if I don't understand the laws in Georgia, could he went and got the vaccine without his mother's permission? The crazy part is when I went to go get my vaccine, there were other black teenagers in there getting the vaccine too. Their mom had brought them there. And this was back in April. I got my shots in March and in April. First one in late March, second one in April 13th. Somewhere there was like a four week spread between that. But both times I went out to Douglas County to get my shots and at the Walgreens, there were teenage boys in there getting shots High school athletics or whatever they were involved in, I don't know. I don't know. But I drove out of the city into Douglasville to get my shot. But this mother and her husband made a fatal decision. They didn't vaccinate their son. And when he caught COVID, he 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 couldn't survive it. And you all, we all just have to come to the agreement with this, whether you want to accept it or not. These vaccines have saved many people's lives. Many people are protected with this vaccine, regardless of what we think about it. Even she still was in denial because she was like, I don't know if that would have helped or not. It would have made a huge difference if that mother had vaccinated her son and gave him a chance to live had he come in contact with the COVID-19 virus, which he did do. We got to stop living in denial, y'all. We got to stop listening to you know, these people on the internet, listen to this crazy uncle, listen to somebody on a family member, a friend, or you heard up the street from Jason's, some mother's, brother's, dog's, cat, fat best friend, all this lies and bullshit. Every time I log on to the internet, every morning I get up, I read this foolish mess by my people about this vaccine, and it's just, it's starting to get ridiculous. And this is starting to get insane, and people are dying because of this foolish, ignorant mess I see posted up and down the internet about not taking these vaccines. There's no way in hell I would have had my child walking around on this earth, running through around with people, playing football and all that stuff, and not have access to that vaccine. He would have been vaccinated. I would have been vaccinated. So she hadn't even vaccinated herself until after her son got sick, her and her husband got sick. So what were they doing over there? What were they thinking? What were they thinking? They're just going to take a roller dice? We'll just take our chance with the coronavirus? There's no way I could allow my son to walk around here knowing he needed that vaccine, knowing that I needed that vaccine. We would have went together and got vaccinated. I don't know what's going on. I, I can't discuss what's going on with these white folks and why they don't want to take it. I don't care. But when it comes to my folks, my family, my people, I am very concerned because I, I know we get the worst treatment, denied treatment, denied access to proper medical care. So to turn down this vaccine, when there was plenty of time for this man, young boy to be vaccinated, now you run into the hospital saying help, and they turned their hands, they turned their, they're like, we can't do nothing. You didn't get the vaccine. I knew this was going to happen. This is going to continue to happen because these doctors and nurses, they're tired. They're tired. They're in the hospital working from sun up to sun down. I saw it with my own two eyeballs. I was there when Earl had, was dealing with this issue. They were exhausted. Y'all got to be, as, as a race of people, we got to start making better decisions. I'm not going to follow y'all off a damn cliff. I read people saying the vaccine is the devil. The vaccine is this. The vaccine is that. It's just ignorance. And unfortunately, a lot of people are going to lose their lives reading this bullshit. I don't allow anybody to come into my house talking about this vaccine is this and that. Now, I don't want to hear that shit. And it's the reason why they haven't got it. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it.
Because it's ignorance. And they come up with all this ignorant bullshit. Some other should have had her son vaccinated. He would have stood a chance. He would have had an opportunity to live. We know this shit is killing people out here. And we know it's killing people that look like us, people of color. It's taking us out left and right. I haven't seen people die all over the United States from this virus. People I personally knew, know, have, have known, have died from this mess. I've had family members sick in the hospital who almost died. We can, I can never forget what Earl went through when he was battling COVID-19. And they didn't even know what the name of it was then. But the vaccines are available. If you are a parent and you don't want to take the vaccine, fine. But don't throw your child's life on the table because you stupid enough not to get the vaccine. Let your child live. Let them make their own decision. There's no way in hell I'd have been walking around here with my son running around this city without a vaccine, vaccine knowing what's out here, watching the news, seeing this mess. There's no way I would have allowed my child to, to be running around in Atlanta without that vaccine. No way. Mm -mm. And y'all got to stop being so fucking ignorant. The shit I read on the internet by black folks about this vaccine makes me sick to my fucking stomach. How stupid can we be? People, are, I ain't worried about the vaccine. I got God and Jesus gonna save me and blah, 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 blah. I read all this shit and I just delete it. It's just insane. It's, ins it's insanity. This virus is killing people. This 17-year-old boy could have had a chance at life had his parents got him vaccinated. But they didn't do that. He wasn't given that opportunity. He could have lived. Those of you who are anti-vaccination, I don't want to hear shit you ignorant niggas got to say, and I'm dead ass serious right now. I don't hear it. Because this is just starting to get ridiculous. For years I've lived in Atlanta, I ain't heard nothing but people, black folks talking bad about medicine. Don't take blood pressure medicine. Don't go to dialysis. Don't do this. Don't do that. It's all a bunch of bullshit. We're going to do holistic treatment. We're going to treat AIDS. Y'all, when I heard about, when I saw and heard friends speaking to me and tell me they had stopped taking their HIV medication because they're going to go a more holistic route and they're going to take natural herbs and vitamins by Dr. Whoever, Dr. C, I was in total shock. Why would you stop taking the medicine that's saving your life to take your chance with some nuts and berries? Who ever heard of such? But I've seen it. Would you like to know those people are right now that stopped taking any medication and started eating nuts and berries and taking a more holistic approach? They're dead. They're dead. Man, I ain't no more. Dead. It could be alive had they taken their HIV medications, which have, at this point was some of the greatest, best medicine on planet Earth. These people didn't die 20 years ago. They died in the last 10 years or less. Because they had on the internet. They saw something in a bog. They read somewhere that they can take a holistic mess. They're going to clean out their system. Black folks, y'all, I didn't hear some of the most ignorant shit in my entire life from black folks when it comes to medicine and treatment and taking care of your health. When I watched a friend of mine, my sister die from cancer because she refused to do the chemotherapy and she could have lived. But she didn't do the chemo. She decided she was going to do something else. And died within weeks, months, gone. And she could have lived. And when I spoke to my friend, my, my friend, I said, why did she go down to Patrick? She said, you can't tell her nothing. And so she always, but she don't like medicine. So she made a decision Instead of going to have chemotherapy to cure her cancer, the cancer spread throughout her body because she was taking some bullshit that she read someplace by Dr. C.B. and some other shit, a bunch of nonsense. When will we stop this foolishness? And I've seen this over and over and over. That's how my sisters died. One in particular, my oldest. She stopped going to dialysis. This 17-year-old kid had a chance for life, y'all. 
his mother made a fatal error. His parents made a fatal decision not to get that boy vaccinated. Now they realize this and it's too late. A lot of black folks are gonna lose their lives dealing with this new Delta variant of this virus because it's not going no place. Then we got another variant coming along called the Lambda. Then another variant. So we're gonna be in this for a minute. But if the vaccine gives you a, poss a good hope of recovering, people can say, people still got COVID though, they got the vaccine. They didn't ever say you weren't going to get COVID if you get the vaccine. But if you will have a higher chance of recovering and living, there are people out here so sick. I, I, I have associates that I know who got COVID months ago and they're still sick. Can't breathe on oxygen. That was months ago and they still walked around with a walk. People who were in good health. They didn't get the vaccine either. So you niggas are willing to, to risk your life, risk chronic disability forever and death, but you don't want that vaccine. You don't want it. You're not getting it. Right? We ain't doing that vaccine. Mm -mm. We'll take our chances. Gonna be a lot of dead people over the next few weeks. Gonna be a lot of dead foods over the next few months. Gonna be a lot of dead brothers and sisters over the next year. We're not through with this pandemic, y'all. Mm -mm. I know y'all sick of hearing about it. I know y'all tired of turning on the news and watching it. I know y'all tired of hearing about people dying and people sick. I know, cause I am too. I'm sitting here and I want to travel and go places and do stuff, but I'm sitting here at home because well, uh, uh, the Delta variant's out there and I know it's getting worse. So it's best for me to sit here on this couch and have a cup of coffee and the two things get better. Yeah, I want to go places. I want to do something. I don't want to sit here. I didn't go to the gym yesterday. I wasn't feeling too well. I was like, forget it. I'm just going to stay at home. I just wasn't feeling well. I was sore. I've been working out. I was tired. I said, let me just recover. I feel a lot better today. But yeah, I want to go places and do things and rip and run and go here and go there and do this and do that. But I'm sitting here at home for a reason. Because I'm make paying attention to what's going on. I'm sitting here. This is me time for now. So I can go back out there later and enjoy life once this blows over. And it will. It will. I have the vaccine. I'm in perfectly good health. I don't have any underlying conditions of what high blood pressure. I take my medicine, it's under control. But I'm not out there risking my life with running the streets saying, ah, damn the hell with the coronavirus. Oh no. Mm -mm. I'm not giving the coronavirus a chance to jump on my damn back and bite the hell out of me. I ain't no fool. So I'm looking at all these people running around here. And I spoke to so many of my personal friends and associates who don't want the vaccine, who not getting this vaccine. Mm -mm, I'm not getting it. I keep thinking, okay, this is not going to end well for these people. Because one by one, they're getting sick. We're not social distancing, we ain't wearing masks, and boom, they're in the hospital. I got one friend, I keep sending him a message, he's been in the hospital going on five or six weeks now. He was kind of giving us some posts, but he stopped posting that. I'm starting to get concerned. We're going about two, two weeks and th two or three weeks. He ain't posted nothing. I sent his wife a message. She hasn't responded. Very concerned. I'm like, okay, well, what's going on here? This is not a game, y'all. This is not a joke. This is very serious. And people, you all have got to start taking this serious. Are we going to lose a lot of black folks behind this? because of ignorance. Them hospitals are packed in Louisiana, packed with black folks. In Jacksonville, Florida, those hospitals are full, packed with black folks. Atlanta numbers are going sky high. I have friends who work at these hospitals who went through this last time, and they already know who's gonna be packed with black people. Us, we cannot ignore this. We cannot take a roll of the dice and that, eh, I ain't gonna get it. The odds are against us. 
Because y'all don't want to hear this mess. Because y'all done made up your mind. I'm not getting that vaccine. That mother made up her mind. And she didn't get her son that vaccine. I think she's having second thoughts now. Because he would have had a chance to live. And recover. But we'll never know now. It's too late. Anyway. Today is Wednesday. It's August the 4th. The year is 2021. My heart goes out to that mother who lost her son. I was, it was heartbreaking. She lost a beautiful young man. I wish like hell she had got that boy that vaccine. Yeah, I wish so. He should have been vaccinated. I didn't call every member of my family, cousins, nieces and nephews, everybody. And I consistently called them, go get that vaccine. What are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? I didn't call all of them. You know, I grew up as a Jehovah's Witness. I'd be gone. Hey, did you get that vaccine? They get tired of me calling, but I'm not playing with them. Then I'm gonna keep calling until they go get the vaccine. Because I know what's going on in my family. Our health ain't all that great. Because these, these, they don't work out nowhere. They don't go to no gyms. They ain't no hell. Everything, all kinds of stuff going on. Obesity, high blood pressure, di 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 um, diabetes. We got to get this vaccine. And I call my niece. I say, what, what's going on with your kids? Did you vaccinate them? Only one or two. Go get the vaccine for the two that's ready. What are you waiting for? Go. School's about to start. Do not send your children into that school environment without that vaccine. You should have this months ago. I don't even have no children. I'm concerned because I don't want to see none of these kids die. I don't want to see anybody sick. Because I know we can't afford it any damn way. My uncle died last week. His funeral was this Friday. I wanted to get My mother, we was going to go, but we just said we had to, we can't go because I live in Michigan. I would love to have went. We're not going to be able to make it there, though. My mother's got issues, a whole bunch of stuff going on in my family, and I didn't even go into details of it. But it's funeral was Friday. But anyway, you all, we got to stop playing. When that mother went to the hospital with her son, she said to the white folks, turn away. I believe it. I've seen it. I know how they treat us. I know how they treat us. I know. And then when they found out he hadn't had the vaccine, they didn't even care no more. They didn't care. She had to rush into another hospital. That had to be an exhausting and tiring and, and, and frightening running from hospital to hospital trying to get your son some help. I couldn't even imagine going through that. We gotta stay, y'all, we gotta wake up. We gotta stay diligent. We have got to stay focused. All this nonsense on this internet, these lies, this bullshit, this bunch of deception, all this shit about this vaccine, is y'all need to stop this mess. I'm serious, because this is gonna cost people their lives. Some foolishness you had on the internet or some gossip you heard through the rumor mill about a vaccine that can save your life. Those of you who choose not to take the vaccine, you're taking a very bad chance with your life. And a lot of folks watching this video say, I ain't taking that vaccine. And come Christmas time, they won't even be here. Mm-mm, they'll be dead. And they could have lived had they taken a chance with that vaccine. But anyway, today is Wednesday, August the 4th. The year is 2021. We're still in the middle of the coronavirus pandemic. And I'm out of here. You all enjoy the rest of your Wednesday.